Hiya, so today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to raise money for your school in a reasonably easy um, and sustainable way for somebody that perhaps hasn't got loads of time to be up the school, but they might be a whiz on social media. So this is the perfect role for somebody to be part of the PTA who is great on Facebook and who has time to be on their phone or their computer, for example. So what it basically is, is an online market. So these became really big last year through COVID and all markets and Christmas fairs all being canceled and summer fairs all being canceled. These became massive and local traders that I know um, and local to me said they had so much success with these online markets that they're actually considering whether they are going to go back to face-to-face -face markets. So these traders really like this. This is easy money for them. So they want to join them. The way they work is you set up a group, um, a Facebook group, so you could call it a um, named after your school for example and then traders join that group and they pay a fee so you can do that as in for one-off event or you could do that for Christmas so it might be from October to December for it might be that period of time it might be per month whatever you do it's your group your rules just make that clear and they pay a fee so that fee tends to be quite a small amount about five pound is what I've seen most of them so now some of these groups have got really big and really popular and I've seen some with say a hundred different traders in them and all a hundred traders can post once a day. Um, again, it would be your groups, you can have those, your rules, but generally what I've seen is once a day you can post a hundred traders, if they pay five pound a month, that's 500 pounds a month with no outgoings and that's 500 pounds that could go towards a PTA. Now, how this is sustainable is that there is a carbon footprint involved in electronic um, technology, in emails, in uh, phone devices, in social media. So there is a carbon footprint. Um, but the carbon footprint of this is reasonably low compared to lots of people traveling to an event, for example, face to face in separate cars, separate traders or traveling to get someone. Now, the way you can make this more sustainable is to bring in an eco element as well. So what I think would be a lovely idea would be to get um, to get parents involved or a PTA involved, but even better to get the children involved in them thinking about what is important to them and their school. Perhaps the eco school council could get involved. What kind of things are important to them that they would like to see um, either in a market or that they would like to avoid in a market. So what I mean by this is if your school is really working hard to avoid single use plastic, then why not come up with that rule that traders can join, but you don't allow single use items or you don't, um, you know, you don't promote single use. So we, 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 you know, all traders must have recyclable, um, reuse packaging whatever rules you want to do this is this is your group but to bring in sustainability it's really nice to think outside the box so you could also have things like we only promote local businesses so you don't want carbon footprint of traders all posting stuff you want to promote local people only that can do like easy local drop-offs um, even better support like the school parents any of the people you know parents that might work from home and they can do drop-offs at school with you know no further carbon footprint or perhaps your school are really going down the vegetarian vegan route and they don't want any food they don't want to promote any food in the group unless it's vegetarian or vegan for example Again, all up to you, your group, your rules. But I would definitely suggest um, doing it as a, as a consensus or a voting system so you can get parents, PTA and kids involved in deciding what you do want to encourage in the group and what you don't want to encourage to make that group a little bit more sustainable while supporting local business and earning quite easy money for your PTA. Um, there, you can look up other groups on it like this. There's probably lots coming soon with Christmas coming and you can get an idea of how they work. But generally, each store holder would get a number. So they register with you, they pay their fee and then they get allocated a number. And then each day they post with their allocated number to, you know, to show that they're a genuine trader, for example. Um, and then obviously you would just choose your rules. Normally that's once a day posting. 
and you can decide what, as I say, what you want them to promote or not. If you want them in your group, you don't have to accept each trader just because it's easy money, although that's tempting. Look at the bigger picture and what you're trying to promote and how you want to inspire others to be sustainable too. Any questions, then let us know. Talk about it in our Eco Education Facebook group. Um, and yeah, talk about it and share ideas with each other. So I hope that's useful and see